Good morning, Jonathan, and welcome to Business Spotlight Interview. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Glad to be here. Great. So just to get started, Jonathan, maybe just a little bit of background about yourself, about Red Group Creative, and just uh, give us a little bit of background on the company and how long you've been in business. Absolutely. So I've been doing this for quite some time, started video production stuff when I was in high school. And so I'm almost 39 years old now. So I can actually say over 20 years that I've been doing this. Um, I had my own business for about eight or nine years and then uh, partnered up with a friend of mine, Brian Little. Uh, Red Cube now is about five years old as of this year. So we are a multimedia production company handling everything from website design, graphic design, photography, video, marketing, digital marketing. Uh, we try to be kind of a one-stop shop for anyone's uh, media needs. Excellent. So young man for 20 years in the, in the industry, that, that's excellent. So, you know, five years in. So during that journey, um, anybody that inspired you or when you think about success, any person that kind of comes to mind? Yeah, there's a lot of people that I follow online. Uh, I had personal uh, friends of mine that were huge stepping stones for me along the way, uh, kind of got me, you know, to uh, learning some of the things that I've been able to also do the same for other people. Um, one of the guys that comes to mind that's in our industry is a man by the name of uh, Jeremy Cowart. Um, he's a professional photographer out of Nashville. Uh, love his work and just... Uh, creativity. He's, he's done a lot for just pushing the envelope for what is possible. Um, he's still doing things, just had an event a couple of weeks ago where uh, he did something that I don't think has ever been done before, creating like 10,000 different photos in about fi uh, 15 or 20 minutes, I think it was. So using LED boards and projectors and all kinds of different stuff. So creatively, he was one that I, I really kind of admired his work early on and uh, it's hard not to try and emulate someone else that does such exceptional work. But I think I kind of found my own, um, you know, avenue of things that I like to do and try to create my own style. And so, but uh, he, he's one that kind of comes to mind. I, I could probably name a hundred other people, but um, in the creative world, he's, he's top notch for me. Excellent. Yeah, that's a great answer. Use the the, 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 the creativity of others, uh, but, but basically put your own, unique spin on it to, to create your own niche. Uh, so that's excellent. Yeah. Um, so five years owning your own company. Mm -hmm. um, so during that journey, Jonathan, what's been some of the biggest learning that you've had al along that path? Well, uh, Red Cube is five years old. So I'm 14 years in to owning my own company. Um, uh, so the, the biggest thing that I learned is that life is a lot more fun when you're doing it with more people. Uh, so the first eight or nine years doing my own thing by myself. Uh, we have a lot of heavy equipment in the industry I work in, especially when I'm doing video stuff. And so uh, I learned very quickly that, man, it's great to have some guys that can help carry some stuff uh, and <laughs> lighten the load a little bit. So um, I, I think the biggest thing is just, it's always been about relationships for me. And I think the, the saying of just, it's all in who you know, is very true. Um, not just for the benefit of you know, business, but also just being able to toss ideas around with different people. You know, I'm not always going to have the best idea. Um, our team now uh, com is comprised of quite a few individuals that are all creatives and being able to just throw ideas around with them and, you know, get different perspectives and things like that has been really huge for the growth of our company. So, so I love being able to just be in a team environment and, you know, everyone has their own, you know, area that they excel in, but being able to all come together to create one project together has been really cool and special. Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, and only a business can be a, a lonely adventure and uh, having skilled people around you that can complement you know, the full team. That's, uh, that adds a lot of value. So excellent. So 14 years as the owner, five years with red cube as the owner. Right. Um, if you double that and look out uh, for a total of 10 years or five years in the future, um, what do you, what, what's the aspiration for Red Cube over the next five years? Well, it's been really cool uh, because in January, it was me and my business partner, and we had one guy working with us who was basically part time. And so for the last couple of years, we've really talked about taking some big risk and knowing that, you know, COVID was slow for us. Uh, we, we had some great people that's, you know, stuck with us and, 
continued to be able to, you know, pay the bills every month and things like that. But um, at the beginning of this year, we really sat down and we said, let's really take some risk to see what this thing could be. Um, and, and we talked about the next five years, the next 10 years, what could this look like? And so uh, February, uh, like I said, January, it was me and my business partner and a part-time guy. February, we hired, I think it was three full-time people, a fourth full-time person the next month. And, and then just a couple of weeks ago, we've had a guy come on board with us who will probably be full-time very soon. So the great part is that uh, we've seen tremendous, tremendous growth just in the past couple of months, just by taking the risk. And so, um, you know, sometimes you just have to kind of weigh the options on is, is it the right time to, to make a move and to do these different things. But for us, uh, we knew that our industry is, it's something that's not going away. I think that people are finally getting to that point again, where they're ready to spend some advertising dollars. I think it was really slow during COVID because people were just trying to keep the lights on. And so now people are like, we have to have a great online presence because so many things shifted during COVID zoom meetings, like we're doing right now. I mean, it's just, everybody was doing that. And so now people are realizing there's so much traffic that's happening with online content that they have to have a great online presence. And so I feel like we're positioned in a really good spot right now to help businesses get to that next level with their media, with their online presences to, you know, we always ask people like, what do you want your first impression to be? Because if people are coming to your website, they're seeing you on social media online, what do you want people's first impression of your company to be? And so we can help people do that by the media you know, outlets that we do. So in the next five years, I'm hoping that we can continue to grow our team. Um, and I, I think that's going to be what we have to do, because right now I think we're so busy that we're already <laughs> almost too busy for the work that's coming in. We, uh, we moved into a new office this past year. And uh, at the time, it was 10 times the amount for the monthly payment as what we were paying. And so we were you know, it was, it was a scary move to make, but we've already outgrown our space. And so uh, it's kind of cool to look back just six, eight months ago and see where we were and to have already outgrown the space that we thought we would never outgrow. Um, it's, it's been really cool. So I, I think for us, it's just a matter of growth. We're, we're big on investing in the next generation. So um, we, we have internships and things like that that we do. So we want to really invest in the next generation train people up so that they can, um, you know, do what we do in our industry and, uh, and just see our team continue to grow and help a whole lot of businesses. That's the goal. What a fantastic answer that was. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. I mean, uh, honestly, I think you define kind of action coaches vision uh, or a business coaching company and basically you summarize it, right? You get an industry that's growing, uh, you set a vision and a dream, um, and, uh, you basically start to basically create that vacuum, um, of need, right? And you put people in place to fill it, and you filled it. Um, and now you're, you're already kind of outpacing that 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 um, accelerated growth that you that you visioned. So fantastic, well done, my friend. Thanks. So you've been onboarding a bunch of people, um, and as and you're based out of Carrollton, Georgia. And for those viewers that don't know what that is, it's kind of Southwest Atlanta, Georgia. So um, as you've been looking around for talent and resources and trying to manage budget and people and need and demand and all that. What's been your experience for, for bringing talent into Red Cube? Well, the cool thing is, is that there's no shortage of people who do what we do with the film industry being right down the street in Atlanta. So um, we're a little bit different. Um, uh, I may have mentioned a little bit about internships. So uh, literally a mile from our office is the University of West Georgia in Carrollton. And they have started in the last few years an actual film school. So one of my favorite professors, shout out to Brad Yates. Love you, buddy. Um, he is the dean over the new film school. And uh, we've had some conversations about partnering with them for internship possibilities and things like that moving forward. Um, but like I said, we're a little bit different. Um, the film industry is long days. It's long hours doing the same thing. Maybe you have one position where you're sitting on set all day long waiting to jump in and do your you know, very specific thing that you're there for. Uh, we move very quickly as a company because we understand that businesses' budgets are limited sometimes. And so we want to be able to give businesses um, the most for their money, biggest bang for your buck. And so uh, we work very quickly a lot of times. Most of our shoots are a day, two days sometimes. We shoot a lot of TV commercials and 
you know, promotional type videos for companies, things like that, um, testimonial videos and interviews. And so, uh, so we're, we're trying to give them the most that we can for, uh, for the least, you know, amount of money possible. So we work very quickly. Our teams are smaller instead of having 50 or a hundred people on set, we may have three or four people on set. So, um, so I think that it's, it's, it's easy to find people who do what we do because there's a lot of them in Atlanta, but uh, we're, we're looking for very specific people. We're looking for people who are hardworking, want to grow and have a community of people around them that um, can become more like a family. Like I said before, relationships are very important to us. And so um, we have a lot of you know opportunities because of West Georgia being right down the street. We have a lot of inquiries. And we, we meet with a lot of, uh, you know, possible students or um, even people, you know, who may have their own production company that reach out to us and, hey, I'd love to just connect and, um, you know, be a resource, that kind of thing. So we're always looking, though, um, you know, if, if there's anyone out there who uh, has some skills, editing, shooting, graphic design, photography, any of that kind of stuff, we'd love to, you know, connect with you and have you as a resource because we do have a lot of, you know, contractors that work with us on projects and things like that. Excellent. Yeah, it sounds like you got a perfect resource right in your back door, and not only to su support you guys, but you're also paying it forward by you know investing in the in the youth and the next generation. So that's yeah, that's, that's awesome. Cool. Um, so as I said, as you know, we I run a business coaching firm, so coaches are always near and dear to my heart. So if you look back in your career, it could be professionally or personally, who would you identify as one of your most influential and best coaches in, in your life, and why? Uh, this is easy for me. Um, it would have to be my dad uh, because he was always uh, my biggest cheerleader. Um, he was a pastor, um, still is, was my whole life. And even though he was very busy with the churches and stuff that we were involved in, um, he was always uh, at every soccer game and uh, was the loudest one cheering from the sidelines. I could hear him over everybody else. And so He's, he's really been the one that's pushed me. Um, he knows nothing about media. Um, probably one of the least technological people I know. Uh, he actually called me the other day because we're doing a website for his church that he's at right now and asked me a very simple technology question. Sorry if that offends you, Dad, if you end up seeing this. But uh, um, I just kind of laugh in you know the back of my mind uh, thinking, gosh, I thought everybody knew how to do this. But uh, but regardless of that, though, he uh, you know is still the one today that is always just in my corner and so excited about the growth that we're seeing happen. And so I think for me, that's the biggest thing. I don't need people around me that, you know, are so technology advanced that, you know, I need their kind of love and support. I just need people that are like, man, you're just killing it, doing great. And and so he's, he's definitely been my biggest cheerleader for sure. Great answer. Um, and uh, further not to offend him, he may be one of the ones that have the old VCR still blinking midnight on it. I'm not Could sure, be. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> half of my listeners probably don't know what a VCR is. So, <laughs> uh, all right. So, I think you said 39, not to offend. 39. I think that's what you are. Yeah. Eight, so, a couple of weeks. Yep. Yeah. So, you're uh, uh, many, many years closer to your 18 year old self than, than I am. But if you had to look back on that, whatever it's been 23 years uh, since you were 18, what, what would, um, uh, what would, what kind of advice would you give yourself back then um, as your 18 year old self that would have maybe prevented, um, you know, or improved or prevented anything that happened between then and now? Any ideas? Uh, number one, I would say uh, put some money and invest in Instagram and uh, Facebook. Um, just, just buy a little stock, uh, you know, uh, maybe Apple, but uh I think I would say do exactly what you're doing right now. Just take bigger risk sooner because man, I, I have no regrets. Like I started shooting video when I was in high school and became absolutely obsessed with it. Like I'll never forget, you know, we actually, we had a video camera at my dad's church and he would let me borrow it. And I would go shoot these dumb little videos with my friends on the weekend. And, but man, I'd sit up till, three or four in the morning, you know, editing these videos because I was just consumed with the idea of being able to create something from scratch. And so even today, like that's what really drives me is doing that for other people and taking something that they may look right now as like, man, we don't have a great product. We don't have great video or a great website. And to be able to create something for them so that they're really proud of what they have. They're just 
you know, it takes their stuff to the next level and hopefully introduces a whole new market of people and clients and people that want to buy their product and all those things. And so for me, I would just say, yeah, uh, just work hard at what you're doing and keep pushing. And, and there've been, you know, in our industry, like it's, it's a hustle every day. You know, it's, we never, we never slow down because we've arrived and just the work is just pouring in. And, you know, it's, I'm always talking to the next person and the next potential client and all that. So um, I think I would say uh, start a YouTube channel. Uh, I've seen a lot of people be very successful on YouTube. And so I'm the kind of person that I think uh, I could have, I could have made some dumb videos and maybe have been a YouTube star. Uh, so maybe I would have said that. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I think I could have been Mr. Beast. Who knows? I don't know. Exactly. You know, the only way you could have made that answer better is if you just said hire a business coach early on. That, that, that been yeah, cool yeah. Out. And and also <laughs> that. I was getting ready to get to that point. So I'm glad you you interjected there. <laughs> but you know, I, I really like the, the that story because it, it is true, right? You find something you love to do and are passionate about it and figure out how, you know, where's the demand around that passion and that skill set and then monetize it and commercialize it, right? So that's basically what you've done, which is the recipe for not only success, but enjoying what you do. So well done. Absolutely. Um, okay, last question for you. Uh, great great answers to all the questions, really insightful. Um, so just to make sure all the users can access you, can find you, can reach out to you, you know, understand any offers, newsletters, whatever it is, just to keep them in touch or even employment, just uh, anything you got to offer relative to contact ways to get a hold of you and or RedCube. Yes. Yeah, so uh, our main website is redcube.co or .co. It's not .com. Someone in London, England apparently has that one, but we will get it eventually. I promise you that. Um, they will go out of business and we will steal it from them. But uh, so redcube.co is our main website address. We're on most of the social media networks and stuff. Um, hello at redcube.co. Um, that email comes directly to me. And um, we'd love to just connect with you know, people that are looking for just a resource uh, or employment opportunities. Um, like I said, we're we're in a major growth mode right now. And so uh, we're looking for talented people that could potentially join our team or want to intern with us. Um, but those are the two main main ways that people can get in touch with us. And uh, I'd love to, you know, we always say, let's um, uh, start a conversation together because that's really for us what it's about is just getting to know people and uh, building a bigger network of, you know, potential, you know, creatives. So that's it. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Well, I really appreciate your time. Great, great answers. Um, it's, uh, it's inspirational to hear you talking about growth and how you're managing it. So well done, my friend. Um, looking forward to seeing the success of Red Cube in the future and all the best. Thanks so much.